Cage Mines, we got Ray Viza with us, the Mexicutioner. Dude, you stole Joey, Joey Beltran's nickname. Nah, that's all good, eh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it even better. <laughs> How did you come up with the nickname? My dad actually gave it to me. We were just trying to figure it out because I was trying to get it on my, uh, actually Edwin, my sponsor, Mac 10. Big shout out. But it was, he was trying to give me a nickname, so I just told my dad, I was like, hey man, I'll, uh, you need to come up with a nickname. I was like, I didn't, I wasn't feeling the nightmare no more. And I just said, he was on Mexicution, and I was like, Shh, I'm cool with that. Had you heard that nickname before? And honestly, I didn't even know if Joey Beltran had it, so yeah. It was my first time hearing about it. UFC heavyweight brawler, you don't remember those fights yeah, in Bellator? Just, I didn't really pay attention to his name and all that, you know. I just seen his fights, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have you. How's camp been? Camp's been nothing but great to me. I mean, I've been injury free. Um, just, it's been great. That's all I gotta say, you know. Uh, just, I'm ready to fight. Can't wait. What has been the big goals for you following your last fight as far as your training has went? Where have you been trying to take those steps in your game? Uh, just trying to like. Like, I, could, I should have finished that last fight over there at the Route 66. I should have finished the guy, and i just been working on that, being very aggressive, more aggressive, and we're just going to execute everything that I'm working on, you know? What does it mean to possibly be heading into a title fight here soon? Those rumors have been, have been going around. We've seen social media posters. What would that mean to you in your amateur career? I hope it happens, man, because, like I said, I'm, I'm in the sport to freaking be at the top of my game, you know what I mean? I want to be UFC bound. Uh, like I said, I hope it happens. I mean, we're, we're trying to make it happen, so we'll see what happens, you know, and I'm going to get that belt, and as soon as I get that belt, you know, I want to turn pro maybe, you know, so we'll see what's up. What do you have to do still in your game to become complete? What are you lacking? Where do you need to work at? Just, just like my wrestling, man. My wrestling sucks. It, it's always, it always has. I mean, I'll admit it, you know what I mean? I like to bang, and my submission game is good, you know what I mean, but just my wrestling game, you know what I mean? Wrestling now these days in the sports, you gotta have wrestling, you know what I mean? It's, it's tough, but I'll get it, you know what I mean? I just need to make, work my way up here, but I will though for sure. Tell me about mindset and determination. Mind and determination, I've always had that, you know what I mean? I've that's That's been the top of my game right there, just in the mind and having the ter determination to get this, get it done, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get it done. Uh, How do you stay motivated? Uh, just surrounding myself with great people. You know what I mean? Like I just gotta, like sometimes I'm on my own. You know what I mean? But as long as I have music, you know what I mean? Music's life to me. And you know what I mean? As long as I have music bumping in my ears, I'm just I'm motivated and I'm just ready to go. So is that what you're doing when we see you in on social media running the steps all the time? Always, man. I always have my headphones on and I'm just bumping, man. And I'm just getting into it. And I'm just. I'm getting rowdy, I'm getting pumped, and I'm just getting it done. Entering the cage, what is that feeling like for you? It's so, God, it's it's crazy. Sometimes I even ask myself, why am I doing this? But I love it, you know what I mean? I have so much love for this sport, and it just, it's the greatest feeling ever. Now, how did, how did that love develop? Uh, like My pops, you know what I mean? He, he, uh, he introduced me into this sport. I'm like, falling in the footsteps of him, you know what I mean? So, thank my pops for that. How much do you think about that? following his footsteps kind of building a family legacy it's great man because like if I ever have kids down the road I want them to be doing the same thing too you know what I mean Even whether it's boy or girl so it's it's gonna it's gonna get bigger in this family watch and then if you turn your head I believe to your right on your hat we're gonna see the nickname executioner what does that mean to you getting gear from Mac 10 your sponsor seeing your nickname on it man Edwin man he just he's great man you know what I mean like it's great stuff man you guys need to freaking check them out it's great clothing and I'm just very blessed with it and I'm, I'm gonna rep it to my fullest how do you stay focused just like I've been doing it since day one of this camp just keep my focus and I know I'm gonna fight you know what I mean you know what I mean I don't care who it is like I said you're 9 and 0 you're a freaking former champ I don't care who you are I'm gonna go fight that's it I have respect for anyone that steps in there with me I mean we all do it for love you know what I mean we all love the sport so, just gotta stay focused just like I am now and I am I'm very focused right now message for the supporters uh just thank you guys I appreciate every single one of you guys you know uh, I'm bringing freaking I'm bringing the war and some of them be crazy shit <laughs> thank you for the time yeah thanks man I appreciate you guys thank you